Now, in this question, we're asked to find two consecutive integers that have a product of 42. And remember here that we can consider two negative integers or two positive integers. And we're going to see what, what uh, I mean by that in just a second when we look at the solution. So if we're going to let x represent the first number, and remember that consecutive means two integers in a row, so example, 3 and 4, 7 and 8, etc., then this other integer is going to be one more than the first integer, so the second integer we can represent as x plus 1. And we're told that the two integers have a product of 42, and remember that product means multiplication, so if we multiply the first integer and the second integer, the answer is 42. So we can represent that in the equation, and the first part of the equation is going to be the product of the two numbers, which is x times x plus 1, is equal to 42. So now we can simplify here, and we're going to multiply using the distributive property x times x plus 1, so x times x is x squared, x times positive 1 is plus x, and that's equal to 42. So now what we're going to do is rearrange this so that it's in a quadratic equation, and so we're going to subtract 42 from both sides. And so when we subtract 42 from both sides, we get x squared plus x minus 42 is equal to 0. So now we have to find the values of x that make this equation true. In other words, we're going to sub in a number for x into this equation where the, this will make the left side equal to 0. And so there's a number of ways we can do this. And the easiest way to do this one is to use uh, factoring. So we're going to factor the trinomial x squared plus x minus 42. And in order to do that, we have to look at the minus 42, and that tells us that we're looking for two numbers that have a product of negative 42. And we look at the coefficient on the x term, and that tells us that the sum of the two numbers that we're looking for is positive 1. So we're going to set up a chart here as we've done before, and remember that our product is negative 42, and remember that since these two numbers multiply to be a negative value, that and have a sum of positive 1, then one of these numbers is going to be negative, the other one is going to be positive, and if you just consider the numbers without the signs, they're going to be very close to one another, and so the first number is negative 6, and the second number is positive 7, because negative 6 times positive 7 is negative 42, and negative 6 plus 7 is positive 1, or 1. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write our um, equate their trinomial as the product of two binomials. And so we're going to bring the numbers that we found over into our equation. And so this is then x minus 6 times x plus 7 is equal to 0. So now we have to consider the two possibilities here. And remember that if x minus 6 is equal to 0, then this will be 0 times some number. And any time you multiply a number by 0, then the answer is going to be 0. So if x minus 6 is equal to 0, then this equation is true. And then that means that x is um, equal to 6. So if we have 6 minus 6, we end up with 0. And 0 times any number will be 0, so this satisfies the equation. And that uh, remember that our two integers, so our integers are x and x plus 1. So if our first integer is 6, then x plus 1 is 7. So that means that our integers are 6 and 7, and we can see that by 6 plus 7 is equal to 42. But there's also another possibility here, because if we look at the x plus 7, if x plus 7 is equal to 0, then this is going to be some number times 0, which will be equal to 0. So if x plus 7 is equal to 0, then that will satisfy the equation as well. And so that would be mean that x would have to be equal to negative 7, because negative 7 plus 7 is 0, and that will satisfy our equation. So if x is negative 7, then our second integer is going to be x plus 1, and negative 7 plus 1 is equal to negative 6. And then our two integers then are negative 6 and negative 7, and remember that negative 6 times negative 7 is positive 42. So our two possible integers that have a consecutive integers that have a product of 42 are 6 and 7, 
or negative 6 and negative 7.